40 people are dead from crashes on Missouri roads so far just this year. This week, troopers in mid-Missouri responded to hundreds of crashes after Tuesday's snowstorm. ABC 17's Lindsay Burning joins us now live from I-70. And Lindsay, emergency officials say it's a good idea to check your car before the next snow hits. Yeah, Marissa, Mer um, the Missouri State Highway Patrol troopers responded to 200 car crashes in less than 24 hours after the snow started falling Tuesday. And Sergeant Scott White with the Highway Patrol says in those dangerous road conditions, it's important to not only adjust your driving habits, but to also prepare your car. We can't predict when an emergency will occur, but by planning ahead, it certainly helps keep you safe. From 12 o'clock Tuesday afternoon until 8 Wednesday morning, Troop F was busy responding to hundreds of crashes, cars sliding off into ditches, and breakdowns with the wintry weather. Sergeant Scott White says before the next snowstorm hits, there are several things you can do to prevent becoming one of the statistics. First, check the tread on your tires. The car can hydroplane at 35 miles an hour on wet pavement, on snow and ice, obviously much slower. If your tires are in poor condition, you're more susceptible to actually lose control. Um, and you know, end up in the median cables sliding into another car. Second, if you're using your windshield wipers, make sure your headlights are on. This isn't necessarily for you, it's so other drivers can see you. And we've all seen that when a car doesn't have their headlights on, that it, you almost see them at the last second, especially if you're pulling out on the roadway. And third, stock your car with emergency supplies. To have an emergency blanket, um, if your car were to break down, is very important on the side of the highway. You want to make sure you have a set of booster cables. These are real useful, especially when, uh, you know, most of the time, if a battery's going to go dead, it's going to go dead when it's, when it's cold outside. Sergeant White says to also make sure to completely clear off your windshield. He says you could be breaking state law if snow or ice is covering is blocking your vision while you're driving. Reporting live in Columbia, Lindsay Burning, ABC 17 News. Lindsay, thank you. Sergeant White says drivers or passengers were hurt in 12 out of those 200 crashes this week. No one was killed.